This is in response to Bill Gady's video on censorship, in which he claims to be the victim of censorship. Now what he's specifically referring to is the fact that he has submitted a number of papers dealing with his thread theory, or electromagnetic rope theory, however you, whatever you want to call it. He has submitted them to scientific journals and been rejected. Now, he's not happy about having been rejected, but to virtually anyone who has a little bit of scientific literacy, the reason his work gets rejected is that uh, it's full of mistakes. He makes stupid, basic errors and um, then is surprised when the establishment or mathematicians as he likes to call physicists and scientists don't accept his work. One of the things he says is that mass and weight are the same thing. Now any anyone who has studied physics to any level at all should be able to tell you the difference between mass and weight. But uh, he is continually redefining what he calls physics with a capital P and science with a capital S and he says that the only thing that uh, science does is to explain things rationally. He says that the science and physics have no use for equations, no use for numbers, no use for time, space, energy, all of these things he calls concepts and he says that they are irrelevant to explaining physics. Now back to mass and weight. Mass is a property of matter which is the same anywhere throughout the universe. So this rock here Say it's one kilogram, I don't know, I don't have scales with me. That's one kilogram on Earth, and that would be exactly the same on the Moon, or on Titan, Jupiter. And if it was drifting in space amongst the asteroid belt, it would be weight less. But its mass would still be one kilogram. So you drop it, hits the ground, and uh, hits the ground with a certain amount of force. That's because I just dropped it on the Earth. Now it just so happens that on the Earth the unit of measurement that we use for weight and mass is the kilogram. So one kilogram of mass would weigh one kilogram on the Earth. If you took the same kilogram to the Moon and uh, weighed it on weighing scales the kind of thing that you have in your bathroom that you stand on, the weight, the reading would be 170 grams instead of 1,000 grams because the gravity on the Moon is only 17% what it is on the Earth. Now if you took a set of balancing scales, this is something that Bill um, is having a great deal of trouble understanding in various comments. If you took balancing scales to the Moon with the same rock and another known weight of one kilogram, they, and you put one on either side, they would balance out. So that shows that the mass is still the same on the Moon as it is on the Earth. So now that you're on the Moon, you take the same rock and the same weighing scales, remember the ones from the bathroom, and you put the rock on the scales and it will read 170 grams instead of one kilogram. That's because the weight of the rock on the Moon is only 17% what it is on the Earth. This is basic, basic physics, but uh, for some reason Bill Gady struggles to understand that. And he keeps on insisting, he keeps shooting himself in the foot by saying that mass and weight are the same thing, there's no difference between them. And even when it's explained very clearly, um, he still says the same things. So that is why it's hard to take the guy seriously. Another thing which Bill does is he insists that everything in the universe is either a concept or an object and he's absolutely adamant about this and his definition of object is that which has shape and his definition of concept is that which does not have shape. 
Um, and when you argue with him, he will try to pin you down to defining the word object or concept um, and give you all kinds of dog's abuse unless you come up with his exact definition. Now the trouble is that uh, his ideas don't necessarily connect with reality. Um, there are a number of things which he calls concepts such as energy, time and space um, which are a very real part of physics and science but he will maintain that they are not. So that is another reason why um, physicists and scientists struggle to take him seriously. It's also worth mentioning something which he would claim is irrelevant to the pursuit of science, but uh, I don't think it's 100% irrelevant, and that's his abusive uh, language and um, the way he treats people, the way he speaks to people, and the way he constantly calls people like Einstein and Isaac Newton and Stephen Hawking, who he puts into the same category, um, idiots, morons, and uh, it, on you know one level it's quite amusing that a guy in his fifties would be so childish, um, but it's another reason I would say not to take him too seriously. The other thing he does is um, very blatant cherry picking of comments in the comments sections. Um, if you put something to the effect of I think your claim that um, physics consists only of objects and concepts is nonsense. He will quote without the three dots before and after, or the, just that little section where you're quoting him, and make out like you have said that. Uh, you know, just like some kid in a playground saying, You're stupid. And the other kid says, Oh, yes, I know you are. It's as sophisticated as that. So my t advice to anyone who might think that he has a point is to take everything he says with a big pinch of salt. Now, also, I'm not saying that everything he says is nonsense. A lot of it is, but there could well be some something of value in his work. But, as far as I'm concerned, he tarnishes it badly by being such a numpty.